so nice leaders. I'm Savannah Phillips. Welcome to our channel for our new life. That must be the least there for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. I hope you're hungry because your lunch choices for today are hot dog pizza kit, popcorn chicken chef salad. The quote of the week is challenges are what make life interesting. Overcoming them is what makes life meaningful by Joshua Marine. And now a special message from Miss Alejandra. Good morning, good morning, good morning, leaders. Welcome back. It's Monday. It's the start of the week, and it's a great time for you guys to be ready, be prepared, and uh, really take time to learn as much as you can from your teachers. I want to welcome you back. Hopefully you had time this weekend to sharpen the saw. That's very important. I want to talk to you guys about one number different. I have a friend with me here that's going to talk about his one number different, but I want you to think about this because this is perfect timing for our message moving forward for the rest of the year. You know, think about one number different and how you can... How that can change your life. You could have better grades with one number different. You can have better iReady scores, better FSA scores. You can be better readers, better leaders, and you truly can do something different with your life if you focus on that one number different. I know a lot of you students out there, a lot of you leaders are out there working on your leadership notebooks, and you guys are tracking your data, so that's important. I want to talk to my friend Nick Riccio here and tell us how you're using your one number different from an academic standpoint. Well, my academic one number different is Whenever, because I'm taking the FSA tomorrow, fourth and fifth, third, fourth and fifth are taking the FSA tomorrow. So we all try to just get one number different. One number different can can save a grade if you get an F and you can, you can get one number higher to a D. That's not as bad, but. Or a B to an A, yeah. right? Yeah, B to an A. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, I appreciate you sharing your one number different. I'm really excited about that. The fact that you're mentioning FSA because we're taking that seriously. I do want to mention we have our attendance challenge coming up for this month, actually starting today, April 1st. It's, it's not April Fool's. It's April 1st. And our attendance challenge is 99% average daily attendance. The classrooms who get 99% will receive a special treat to include T-shirts, um, pizza, subs, um, milkshakes, so on and so forth. We're going to have a real good time with, with uh, this 99% average daily attendance. So work with your students and work with your teachers because that can be one number different too, right? Yeah. All right. Um, FSA starts tomorrow. We have our fourth and fifth graders uh, doing the writing portion of FSA. So just know that we're really proud of the work that you're doing, but work hard. You can definitely do this. Make sure that you read those prompts and make sure that you know you write with purpose, have a plan, and stay on topic. We also have FSA start, uh, starting for third grade reading on the third and fourth. So we're really excited about our third graders getting an opportunity to show us what they know. Again, when, you, when you're out there working on that test, work really hard because we know that hard work can help you do better. Um, read those questions. Uh, look at all those possible answers. Use all the time that's allotted. Underline important key details, okay? You guys know this work. You're doing it every day, so it shouldn't be a problem. I also want to uh, let you guys know that uh, intramural sports, we're going to be starting another round, and later on this uh, morning, Mr. Uh, Coach, Mr. Nice is going to be talking about that, so I'm excited about the participation because you have to remember that you have to have good attendance, good behavior, and good grades to participate in these activities. Now, I want you guys to have a great week. Now back to our awesome anchors. The habit of the week is habit to be in with the end in mind. Set goals and make a plan with steps to reach them. And now a special message on outstanding students for Gabby and Blake. We are pleased to announce fourth and fifth grade outstanding students from Ms. Kimfo's class of Jackie Kemp. From 
from Miss Julia's class, Reese Waters. From Miss Bird's class, Brandon Gilbert. From Miss Buchanan's class, Jordan Fincham. Now back to the anchors. And now a special message with Michaela. Before McKaylin announces her message, I'm just here to announce some um, spring flag football. Registration starts today. We're going to be passing out flyers and forms. The first date is April 19th, so it's still two weeks away. Gives you time to get your form in, make sure your grades are squared away, get to, uh, correct some of your uh, behaviors so you're eligible to play with us. Just remember, um, it's the last season of the year. Okay, if you haven't tried uh, coming out and playing sports, okay, give it a shot. This, um, it's coming up season. Thank you. Attention fellow leaders. We are excited to promote our motto for the rest of the year. One number difference. One number difference and you could have better grades, better eye ready scores, be a better reader, be a better leader, better FSA scores, change the world, get the board leader. Will, what will your number one di difference do for you? So this means to give your best and to commit to excellence while testing. Every question matters. Commit to increase your scores one number difference. Also, we would like to let everyone know that fifth grade has five special students that would, be li that would like to be recognized for their outstanding work on their science fair projects. These five students will be given a day off from regular classes day to attend the Science Fair Expo on Friday, April 5th. The students being recognized are Gabby Dillon, Wesley Facello, Jordan Fincham, Eddie Oquerdo, and Cooper Rivers. 